So let's take a look here at the drummer. It was introduced as a way of really quickly getting some drum grooves down and customizing them and a very intuitive user interface really. So I load this drummer region and I'll have a rock kit loaded by default. And some of you might be thinking, I don't really want to use the drummer, I like to program stuff. Well look here at how we can use the drummer but also really customize it and tweak it and kind of make sounds our own rather than just using these stock drum beats and stock drum sounds. So we have this rock drummer loaded by default and we actually can change the genre of the drummer here. So get this drop down menu here. I'm gonna look here. These are probably most interesting to people watching this, the R&B, electronic, hip hop. So if I go to electronic, I get a choice of five different drummers. And these are covering styles like trap and tech house and dubstep and what have you. So go to Rennie, I think he's a trap drummer. So it loads in some different drum sounds. I have a choice of presets here. And this little XY pad here, we can go loud and complex drumming or simple and soft. We can add in extra percussion sounds over here. We can make it more kind of more busy sequence by you know moving these sliders up to the right and we have more shakers and cymbals and hi-hats in there or more kicks, snares and claps. Increase the amount of fills or the swing, just dial that in very easily. Really quick and easy to get cool drum grooves down. I like this feature here, this follow. So let's load in, uh, very quickly load in a bass sound in here. So I've hit it. I've pressed O on my keyboard to open up the Apple Loops. I'll go to bass and electronic and load in a, one of these bass loops. Here. Something like this. Okay, uh, let's just loop over this little section. Oh no, actually, let's drag it out for the length of the drummer region. Just loop it up very quickly by hitting, highlighting the region and hitting L. I'll go back to our drummer region now and this follow. If we check this box, we can now choose, if I had more audio tracks in here it, or more other tracks, it would give me, it would bring a list of them up here. And so now we can get the kick, snares and claps to follow the bass, this get moving bass that we've added. So we get a nice rhythmical element and a nice relationship between the kicks and the snares and the bass line. It's following that bass, those bass notes now. We can actually get more kind of detailed control over the drummer. Hit this details box here. We've got this auto half time, we can turn it off. Get a busier loop. The complexity range of all these individual drum sounds we can set here. Just gonna add in more hits. Making the loop busier still. Phrase variation. Human eyes. So you can see really quickly you can start to make stuff your own. And that's just the trap drummer, Rennie, if we switch it out here, go to, I think Julian is tech house, or house. And we're still following that bass sound. And we get also this option down here, this drop down, we can change the kit here. So we can go to after party. And we had get some different drum sounds in there now. So very quick, very easy to get some cool grooves going if you just want a bit of a guide beat. There's also some quite nice features if you switch back to one of these rock drummers here. So Kyle, for example. I might mute that bass now. 
because uh, over here in this presets option, we get this drop down where we can save the preset if we really like the way we customized it or recall a default preset to just get it back to how it was initially. Uh, we have these two options down here as well, keep settings when changing drummers or keep, keep drum kit. So let's have a look at these. So keep settings when changing drummers. I'm gonna activate that and once I've pressed that, you can see it's checked there. And then let's do a bit of a rock loop. Okay, so we've got some nice kind of rock rhythm going on there. What we can do now is with those keep settings when changing drummers, go back here, go to say our hip hop options now, load in one of our hip hop drummers, Des, and with those set, we've kept those settings, so we've kept that rock style, that rhythm of drum programming or drum playing, but we're applying it to hip hop drums now with a rock rhythm. So it's quite an interesting way of getting some quite interesting drum rhythms down. And the other option we have there, let's go back to this rock now. Go load in one of these drummers again. I find this quite interesting is we we'll turn the keep settings when changing drummers off. We we'll turn that off. Let's keep drum kit when changing drummers. Turn that on now. So we've got our rock drum kit loaded there. Now let's change to the electronic and let's load in Leah. I think she's the drum, uh, the dubstep drummer. I oh know the tech house, the dubstep one would be quite interesting. There we go, Jimster dubstep. So we've kept the drum kit. So what this means now is that we're going to get a drum, we're going to get a dubstep programming or playing style, but using rock drums. So. Let's increase the tempo to something like 135. So. We've got rock drums with some dubstep style programming, which is quite interesting. find pretty cool and then you could of course you could start processing these distorting them or adding another kind of beat with some more electronic sounds and have this as a bit of a ghost beat underneath to provide that rhythm so you might be thinking as well it'd be nice to customize things a little bit further so if you notice when we have any of the uh, rock or alternative or songwriter drummers we get this drum kit designer and um, you can customize the drums a little bit but what's more interesting for the electronic producers is to call up one of our electronic drummers very quickly so when we load up one of these we actually get the drum machine designer and turn the tempo down a little bit there And then we can customize everything in here. So we have a little mixer here for us individual sounds, the hi-hats, the kick, snare. Uh, and we have some macro effects, so some filters. Kick delay. So we can start to really play around with stuff in here. That's really cool. Uh, and then we have some sends as well. So group delay. So just applying delay there to the snares and claps or the hi-hats. Or group reverb, say just on the toms. The snares and claps. And furthermore, we have individual controls for all the individual hits. So there's kick drum, I load on this now. Uh, I can solo this, we can mute it in here. 
And then for each individual drum sound, we have all these controls, so pitch. So we can really customize stuff. And again, each individual sound. Start customizing that. And the drum machine designer is actually Ultrabeat. So if we look in here, we open up our mixer and you can see we open up this drum drum machine designer here. We can see Ultrabeat is in here and that's actually triggering all the sounds. We're gonna look at Ultrabeat in a bit more detail one of the later videos. But you can see you have all these controls for each one of these drum sounds as well to really customize them even further. And the final thing, what's really cool about the drum just, machine designer is we've loaded in our house beat and we're like well it's we like the rhythm and the programming and the playing and stuff but we want our own sounds in there so I've actually got uh, a sample CD here with some kicks and claps and hi-hats that I really like and I want to load this in there I literally can just drag and drop so I like get my drum machine designer back up I'm just gonna drag a kick over to the kick slot and I've got my own kick in there and so the snare I'm going to load in my own snare in there as well or clap okay just literally drag it over drag and drop and start making your own kit and the beauty of that is your own kit has actually been triggered in the drummer so then we have these really intuitive controls on how to tweak the drummer and create cool, interesting rhythms. Very quickly, very easily, and a lot of fun as well to program with. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. In the next video, we're gonna take a good look at Ultrabeat and drum sound design, and also some pattern and step sequencing using Ultrabeat. All right, thanks.